So what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unconventional Side Hustles and welcome back to the channel as well. My name is Robert, this is your first time tuning in. So today we're going to be talking about tree trimming, how much you can expect to make, who your clients are going to be, and uh, some of the quotes that I have gotten recently as well. Um, if you could do me a huge favor and you like content like this, definitely consider subscribing, turn, turn on your notifications, hit that like button, and share for anyone else who is interested. Again, we kind of started this whole series to help people make more money. Um, you know, obviously in this economy, one of the highest search things right now is how to make more money, side hustles, side hustles that work, um, just different things on money. So that's the reason we kind of also started this whole um, series on side hustles. Now, if you guys are also interested in my second channel, it's traveling, fishing, and hunting. Um, it's right here, Carrasco Ranch. You can check it out. There'll be a link down below in the description as well, or you can search it in YouTube. So, yeah, guys, so today we're going to be talking about tree trimming. So how much you can make right off the bat is going to vary. It's going to vary based on your experience, your equipment, and how much manpower you have uh, to get this thing off the ground. So recently I got a quote for two trees. They were... Uh, about yay yay big pretty decent sized trees probably about if I have to guess probably about 40 feet tall or so maybe 30 to 40 feet tall so not little trees but definitely definitely not like you know like a big old pine that's a hundred foot tall or anything like that but still two you know mature trees excuse me for those two trees I got a couple different quotes two in particular and one of the quotes was twelve hundred dollars to take out both trees so six hundred dollars a tree that did not include the disposal fee so if you're not sure what the disposal fee is it's basically the cost for the contractor to go and get rid of it or dispose of these materials at a landfill or a brush site brush pickup site whatever so that can vary. Um, I've gone to a couple of disposal places. It's usually anywhere between 50 to 300 bucks, depending on the site's location, the, the size of the site, the materials you're gonna be dumping. Uh, there's a lot of variables. Um, one site in particular that I did go to, they measured it by dimensions, like how high it was, how wide it was. Um, I think the length of it, the length, width, and height. Um, basically the volume of how much you're dumping in there. So so that was one of my quotes, 1200 plus dump site fees. The second quote was $1,300 and that included the dump site fees. Either way, a lot of money. So this guy that was going to do it, uh, both of them actually, didn't have any kind of crazy lifts or crazy equipment. They were just going to use uh, manpower to do it. So it's just gonna be two guys, both of them, both of them had, you know, him and a helper. They both had a helper. So that's a, a simple, easy side hustle for somebody who wants to get started, but it is also dangerous. There is a danger that that tree could fall on you. Limbs that you're cutting from up top can fall on the person down below. Um, you could damage houses. There's a lot of cons, but as well as pros, um, cause it is a difficult job. You know, it is. It's not easy. And especially if you're going to be climbing the trees to cut down the branches and letting, letting them fall. But if you can start investing, if you want to do this full time and you want to start investing into a proper business, obviously you can get a lift. A lift is going to make things easier and safer for you and your team. If you have a lift, all you got to do is just sit in the lift and, you know, rise up cut the limbs down as you start cutting them down come down as well with the lift a lot simpler than trying to uh, hop your way up the tree it's a lot more dangerous because um, now you're on the tree itself that you are cutting and i've seen a lot of videos guys that people are cutting like i guess palm trees or something and sometimes when they cut certain parts of the tree it kind of like does like a ricochet and it starts bouncing the person back and forth so it's kind of scary you don't want that to happen to you and then mind you you are also carrying equipment um on the top of these trees so not only are you carrying your own weight you're also you have a hand usually 
or if not, it's tied around your waist full of equipment. So keep that in mind. But yeah, you can make good money. Um, like I said, those quotes were around 1200 bucks, give or take. And you know, it's probably gonna take them about a day to knock that all out if they start early in the morning, right? But you, could, you don't have to do these large trees. You can go in and do smaller trees. You can have your own limits on what type of trees or size of trees you're willing to take on. Um, I have some guys that did do some work for me. Um, so when I got those quotes, it was before I got my own workers. Um, but yeah, we go out and cut trees now a little bit, but we don't do nothing crazy. We don't do no 30, 40 foot trees. We do small stuff, usually that's already fallen. So for those, we charge about 500 bucks. If it's a full blown mature tree that has fallen over, you know, the risk, the risk level has gone down a lot because we're not having to climb that tree. You know, the tree's already laying on the ground. So all we have to do is cut it, load it and dispose of it. So we charge about 500 bucks for something like that. And again, it's just, I get two guys and they go out there and they take care of it. And it, it, get done, it gets done very, very fast. And for the most part, if those trees are fallen over, it's usually because they're already rotten out. So they are a lot lighter. So your disposal fees are a little bit cheaper. And since they are already on the ground as well, less risk. Um, third thing, I was gonna say the third thing is, oh yeah, they're already rotted out. Most of them are older trees. Um, so they, they cut easier with the saw versus a fresh, young, mature tree as a little bit tougher to cut versus something that's already older, softer, softer wood. And uh, yeah, it's already on the ground. So just little ideas to help get you started. Again, you don't have to do that either. You can go and just do tree trimming and not just necessarily tree, you know, takedowns or removals. So you can do tree trimming. Like for instance, something like this. We did all these ourselves, but um, you can trim down the trees. Again, you're going to probably charge something like by the hour. If you have a guy with you, maybe 60, 75 bucks an hour um, for you and another guy to go out there and trim, trim trees, right? But um, again, if you're going to be doing full blown tree removals, I probably wouldn't even be charging no 60 or 75 bucks an hour. That's for sure. Um, it's probably better to charge by the job for something like that. Now, what do you need to kind of get started doing this? this side hustle what do you need you're probably gonna need a truck and a trailer if you have the the income or if you have the money to purchase a dump trailer that's probably useful it's gonna be a lot easier to unload it at a, at a dump site because all you have to do is use your hydraulic lift to pick up the bed of the dump trailer and dump it all out versus having to do manual labor to dump the material out of the trailer so if you have the money, go ahead and invest into a dump trailer. If you don't, then use a regular utility trailer. You're just going to need more manpower. But you're going to need a truck. You're going to need a chainsaw. Chainsaw chains, sharpeners, um, the chaps. So again, safety, earmuffs, hard hat. There's a lot of things that you'll need, but um, most of them for the most part are going to be one-time purchases and you probably won't have to purchase them you know every week or anything um so yeah it is going to take a little bit of investment up front but if you're if you're willing to do it and you are interested in doing it and making this uh a more serious side hustle definitely it's worth the investment i can definitely see it paying off again these people are charging you know 1200 bucks to go and take down two trees and again the guy quoted me a day he said he would take it down in a day so both of them too so 1200 bucks a day i don't know exactly how much he's gonna be making but you know i'm pretty sure he's gonna be making more than 100 bucks that's for dang sure so yeah guys i hope you gained some value from this i hope it was informational and kind of maybe sparked some ideas in you to hopefully go out there and do something for yourself again side hustles unconventional side hustles um yeah if you like this content definitely consider subscribing like share and we'll see you guys in the next one be careful be good take care and god bless See you guys later. Bye-bye.